Hello and welcome to another Dragon Ball Fighters video today. TGN Anime presents a character profile for Zamasu. Filthy Ningen are beneath these divine combos, the mix-up of the gods, the angelical resets. Zamasu is by far the most technical character in the game, he's extremely hard to master, but his potential is celestial. New tech is being discovered every day, but hopefully this video will be a good starting point for those of you trying to pick him up. So let's look at some of his unique normals first. Zamasu has a low light that is actually a low attack, and for a light attack, this one has pretty good range. You can chain two of these together, so that's gonna be pretty good for hit confirm. Next, his special attack looks like just a normal normal key blast, but because Zamasu is so high and mighty, he shoots this thing really, really high. So if you're on a block string and your opponent is crouching or really small, it will whiff. But that also means it's also able to bypass a few high priority projectiles. For instance, the Kamehameha, it will just travel above it. While jumping, Zamasu can chain three key blasts in a row, which is a really good zoning ability. Finally, let's talk about his heavy attacks in the air. Zamasu does not have an aerial launcher. His down heavy in the air works very similar to Frieza's. This is his jumping heavy attack, and this is his jumping down heavy attack. They're very similar, but the down heavy has Zamasu leaping forward before he lands a hit. But let's move on to his special moves. Zamasu's gimmick is the flight, but to fully understand the flight, we have to break down the rest first. Also, all of his special moves work both on the ground or in the air. First up, we have Eternal Justice with quarter circle forward and an attack button. Zamasu lunges forward and slices the opponent. The light attack version is faster and pretty easy to combo into. The medium attack version is a bit slower, but causes a slide knockdown. And the heavy attack version is both fast and causes the slide knockdown at the cost of one bar of meter. And this is pretty much a combo finisher. If you can get any sort of extension, finishing it with a medium version will always put the opponent into a slide knockdown. Or if the extension isn't available, then I guess the heavy attack version will do the same, but will cost one bar. Next, wall of light with quarter circle backwards and an attack button, which from now on, I'm just gonna call the sparkles. Zamasu summons these sparkles that appear behind him and they automatically shoot out. The light attack version shoots after 2 seconds, the medium attack version shoots after 4 seconds, and the heavy attack version for 1 bar of meter shoots at both intervals. Also, the activation of the light attack version is a bit faster than the medium attack version, and the heavy attack version activates at the same time as the light. If you can pull off this activation, this pretty much works like a really fast automatic assist. You can use this to cover holes in your block string or just extend combos without even using assists. The sparkles will disappear after you block an attack, which kind of reminds me of Beerus's orbs. Next, we have Divine Order with quarter circle forward and the special button. If you just tap the special button, it's like a big heavy attack. It has smash properties, so you'll launch an opponent into a wall just like a heavy attack. That is, if you haven't used the smash attack in your combo yet. But if you hold down the special button, not only will this heavy attack hit, but also a high priority projectile will also come out. This thing will clash with Kamehameha's, though it does take a while to charge up. Fortunately, if Zamasu is the in the assist position, it doesn't take as long to charge up. Yeah, this projectile is his attack as an assist, and it retains that high priority despite it coming a little bit faster. Alright, let's talk about his flight gimmick. It's called Heaven's Flash with quarter circle backwards and the special button, but no one's gonna call it that, so I'll just call it Flight. Zamasu starts flying, and you have full control of where to take him. If you do nothing, the flight will end after a few seconds. It will also end after you perform an action. For instance, you throw a key blast, or three of them in a row, or you launch an attack the flight will end after that. It can also end if you get hit by an attack, obviously, and also if you block, that's right. Unlike other games that have this type of ability, Zamasu can actually block attacks while flying. Zamasu can also cancel this ability himself by pressing back and the special button. Now, while flying, Zamasu's attacks will change. You've already seen the key blasts, and that might be the only thing that really remains unchanged, because every other attack button actually changes to his special attacks. So hitting the light attack button unleashes the light version of Eternal Justice. Hitting the medium attack button unleashes the medium attack version of Eternal Justice. And the heavy attack button, well, yeah, you get the idea. Also, if you land one of these attacks or the opponent blocks them, you can extend Zamasu's flight by pressing the special button again. Immediately after the move connects, you press the special button and you kind of reset the flight. So if you keep landing these hits, you can just fly forever, theoretically. But the move has to connect. If it whiffs, Zamasu will just return to the ground. Then, still while flying, if you hit back and an attack button, you will act 
actually activate the sparks. And it works the same way, light attack shoots out after 2 seconds, medium after 4, heavy on both intervals. This also means that every time you hit the heavy attack button while flying, you will spend 1 bar of meter, because it's the same as the special moves. But that's pretty much how the ability works, you can also pretty much just do everything else you do with a character in the air, like throw supers or the divine order special move, but his normals basically change into his special moves. And don't worry, we'll have more on how to use this ability at the end of the video, but for now this pretty much covers the basics. So let's move on to his supers. Zamasu has three of them at his disposal, two level ones and a level three. All of them work both on the ground or in the air. First we have Divine Wrath with Particle Forward and the right bumper. Zamasu throws a projectile downward, similar to Frieza's level one, and it travels a bit slowly, so you need to be careful with the timing when using this at the end of a combo, but hey, a slow projectile. That also means that if you have someone else on your team with a fast super, you can just combo afterwards for some sweet extensions. His second level one is uh, Blades of Judgment with Quarter Circle Forward and the right trigger. Remember Piccolo's Hell Zone Grenade? Yeah, it's pretty similar. Zamasu summons these blades that activate after a while shooting the opponent, and they'll shoot for a while, so you can pretty much do the Hell Zone Grenade mix-up on Wake Up, except Zamasu has a few other tools at his disposal, and we'll look at them in a second. Finally, his level 3 is Lightning of Absolution with Quarter Circle Backwards and the right bumper or trigger. A ray of light shoots down from the sky, it tracks the opponent pretty well, and then this whole animation plays out. As far as auto combos go, this is what happens when you mash the light attack button. And this is what happens when you mash the medium attack button. And now that we know his abilities, here are some tips on how to use them. Lack of an aerial launcher means that you're gonna have to get unconventional with his combos. I mean, you can always launch an opponent from the ground, but you'll deal more damage using other methods. For BNBs and stuff like that, uh, we'll probably talk about it next week. Let's give the community some time to figure this stuff out, because right now, there's a new combo coming out every hour. But just so you don't leave this video empty-handed, here are a couple of beginner ones without meter or without assist. I've been doing this one mid-screen, and then we have this one that I've been doing in the corner. For the most part, you'll be wanting to use your assists for extensions because Zamasu kinda needs a team built around him. Not necessarily for combos, but also for pressure and mix-up. Zamasu is gonna need an assist to cover for him as he activates the little sparks, be it in a block string or during a combo. If that assist is also good at covering the flight during a block string, then even better. Because Zamasu's flight will allow him to do some really crazy high-low mix-up. And here's how it works. As you deactivate the flight, Zamasu will be falling to the ground. Every attack that he throws while falling before he hits the ground is an overhead. Meaning he can throw the lowest of overheads in the entire game. You have less than half a second to guess which attack is coming. Is it a light overhead or a light low attack? I don't know, man. So pair that up with the Hellzone Grenade Clone, forcing the opponent to block in a corner or or reflect and the mix-up of the gods is real. And that's really Zamasu's greatest strength. Setups for the next combo, 50-50 high-low mix-ups, and this stuff is pretty hard for beginners. So it's gonna take some time to master this guy, but I guarantee you that if you put the time in, he is an incredibly viable character for competitive play. That is, if you can somehow build a solid team around him. Thank you for watching another character breakdown in Dragon Ball Fighters. Zamasu is probably the most complicated character in the game right now, so we will most likely need another video breaking down some of this more advanced tech. But for now, if you want to watch another breakdown for any other character in the game, check out the playlist up there. If you're in the mood for something else, there's also the video at the bottom. But as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Glauku, and I'll see you guys next time. Boy.